I heard a story that back in the day, OJ Simpson had a commercial where he jumped <laughs> over a man. And that man was none other than your father. Is this true? That's true. That's true. The Hertz commercial, very famous commercial. My dad did about 50 commercials and some were major, major campaigns, won a Clio award for the Xerox commercial. It was the first commercial that ever used a religious figure. He played a monk and that at the time in the late seventies was not common. So it broke new ground. He did commercials for Fleischmann's margarine and for copper tone and wow. for Gillette and on and on and on. But he did do a Hertz commercial. O.J. Simpson, airport in L.A., it was LAX, jumped over him as he was tying a shoe. And he flies back from that shoot. And I asked him, I'm only nine at the time. I said, uh, how'd it go? He said, oh, yeah, it went well. O.J., you know, seemed like a good guy. Chatted with him a bit. He said, they lost him for about 30 minutes. They couldn't find O.J., so they had to pause the commercial. I said, well, where'd he go? He said, he was in a uh, broom closet with an extra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nine. I go, oh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to go play outside now. Real life, real life lesson that, that I learned from O.J. Simpson tangentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wasn't in the broom closet with an extra. I think he was. Yeah. I think he was. <laughs> That's breaking news on the Mark Jackson show. There you go. Never before reported.